bodies. Like self-love and self-care, this is another word which is bandied about. Most of us do not know what it is, why you need it or how to set it. I find that this boundarylessness seems to cause the biggest problem in our relationships. We all have so many people in our lives that we need to manage. A parent, a partner, a boss, an employee, an in-law, siblings, children, even exes. It becomes easy to tip into an area of overpleasing and neglecting our own selves. And because setting boundaries is such an integral part to strengthen and empower your relationships, this episode focuses on understanding what exactly are boundaries. If you're my returning viewer, I thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. And hey, if you stumbled upon my channel, welcome. My name is Sheila and this is Lumia24. Here, every week, I share my tools to create a happier life and a happier world. Light on. I have learned more about the importance of boundaries in the past four years than in my entire life. My boundaries were vague and non-existent and they manifested in various ways. It was as mild as staying too long in a conversation that bored me or driving out of my way to pick up and drop a friend to more severe cases like letting people push me around in relationships because I didn't want to hurt their feelings. My feelings be damned. More people than not have no clue what boundaries are when in fact it should be taught in schools along with our ABCs. A boundary is a declaration of who you are and what you value. And when we don't communicate what is important to us, what works and does not work for us, it creates a mess in every relationship in our life. So here's a quick check. When you think of a person and it brings stress, anxiety or fear or some kind of discomfort, it's a surefire indicator that there is some boundary being crossed and you have to take responsibility. I read somewhere that boundaries are not walls that we build around ourselves. It's a gate that lets toxicity out. Communication is key in relationships and when we don't communicate about what we need or what we don't, it builds up a lot of anger, resentment and makes us feel unworthy. If you leave a conflict wishing it's spoken for yourself, if you overcommit to obligations and undercommit to activities that bring you joy, if you agree to be intimate with people and then later regret your decision or feel cheapened, if you say yes all the time, if you feel like no one cares about you, well, these are all situations that were brought about by not knowing your values. The number one thing you need to do to set boundaries is to get clear about your own worth. And I know this firsthand. When I felt that my self-worth was dependent on another person, on whether they liked me, whether they were in a good mood, whether they were nice to me and how they treated me, I was a very insecure person. I have learned this. I need to put on the oxygen mask first. Before you like me, I have to like myself. And this, my friends, is the basis of setting up healthy boundaries. The most important relationship you will ever have is with yourself. And the more you take care of yourself and the more value you see in yourself, your self-worth increases. We stay quiet and settle in most abusive or toxic relationships. It can be romantic or work-related or with your families. Risking something that should be non-negotiable, yourself. So, in order to be able to have strong boundaries, you have to develop self-worth. Once you get clear on how you want your relationship to look, what matters to you and what is unacceptable, you have to begin communicating this to others. Now, as a first step and in order to practice setting boundaries, here's an easy starter tool from my toolbox. This is my level one tool to ease you into the game. Simply say no thanks when you feel yourself being pushed into doing things that you don't want to. Only this phrase, no explanations, no excuses, no lies, just no thanks. Use it when your partner wants you to eat sushi and you hate sushi. Use it when your kids want you to walk the dog. Use it when the stranger offers to buy you a drink in the pub. Use it when you're invited to a party and you don't want to go. And when the urge to explain your decisions come up, say, 
No thanks to yourself. Simple, isn't it? This is like I told you, level one. And it will not be easy. People will test. They will push and disrespect your limits. You may want to fall back into your old pattern of giving up your spine. Resist. Practice. And as you get better, you will realize that you no longer get triggered when people test your boundaries. Get ready for your life to change, my love, because it will. And if you need help in the process, reach out to me. All details are in the description box below. I have set some pretty strong boundaries for myself and I can teach you the same. The only person who disrespects my boundaries today is my dog Max and that's because I let him. And that is what you need to learn too. Who, where, what, how much. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with people who seem to be struggling with this issue. Let's spread the light, folks.